if you ever been to a Ohio State spring game, ever watched it, you'd understand that the first half and second half are two different things. So this is also the first half. The defense, at, part, at times, they looked very solid. One guy that really stood out to me was a top five cornerback coming out of high school. Jordan Hancock is going to have a tremendous, going to have a tremendous future for Ohio State. He looks, he looks very good. You know, I, I remember doing a watching the spring game for that team up north and and, and seeing you know a guy at that cornerback position. I think his name is Will Johnson. He looked very solid. Hancock looks very good, too. It's going to be some really nice, you know, corners in the Big Ten. Penn State should take notice, you know, and get rid of, and maybe figure out who's going to play wide receiver because um, you just having two great running backs is not going to work or fly. That are. But another guy that looked really nice was Kai Soaks. He made a couple plays. He was, he was, uh, he was very solid. I talked about Tyreek Williams down a little bit. Ohio State. Looking like a four-two-five defense, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. It, it was also really great to to see you know Josh Proctor back. You know, um, suffered a very tough injury last year. To see him to playing now in spring, you know, which, which is that's very huge to see him playing now. Obviously, he's been getting better and better and better. You know, you hope for, you hope for Latham Ransom to come back, but to see Josh Proctor on the field was huge because I didn't like I would have just I thought he would have just been back around you know for the Notre Dame game, but to see him, what is this April now? I'm kind of losing track of the days. To see him back active, I think he was starting this game, but I mean you really can't read too much of who who starts unless it's the quarterback. But I mean everyone gets a lot of opportunities in the spring game, just to see him back on the field. And not favoring anything was was definitely huge. Another guy that looked good, Xavier Johnson, he looked good. The fundamentals that Ohio State had defensively, you know, and just the way that they tackled, you know, a lot better. Spring game. Again, it's a spring game, but they, they look a lot better in terms of how they're tackling. A four two five is okay. I, I'm okay with that. I don't it's a lot better than having one high safety, I'll tell you that. You know, but if we're going to play a four-two-five, Tyreek is going to have to really step up. You know, you've seen Jack Sawyer. Jack Sawyer made a couple, made some plays. You know, very, very, very. Ohio State has some pieces on defense. You know, and that was really interesting to see. But if they're going to be in a four-two-five, Ohio State Tyreek is going to have to be huge. The, the 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 whole entire defensive line is going to have to be huge. So I see why Coach Day is putting a lot of pressure on him. Specifically, but there was guys in secondary. I haven't even mentioned, you know, Tanner McAllister. But without even mentioning him, you know, Ronnie Hickman, he looked, he looked, he looked, he looks a lot better. The secondary should be uh, much more improved, you know, with guys with another year experience. Even though it is a new, you know, defensive uh, a coordinator, you know, for Ronnie, this is third one in three years since he's been on Ohio State. Another one, but this, his team has some bright spots. Look, look for Jordan Hancock that. I don't know if he's going to play this year, but he looked very good in the spring game. And that's why if Ohio State – I didn't mention Denzel Burke. It's it's going to be – I don't I don't want to jinx it because last year I, I did a spring game video talking about how great the wide receivers were going to be. And then Jamison, he, he got in a transfer portal. And uh, I did a video, and my, my professor, he, she didn't like it. Or one of the professors at Ohio State, she didn't like it. So hopefully I don't jinx it, but Ohio State, they should have a lot, some talent in the secondary this year. Hopefully no one enters the portal. We've we've seen guys already enter the portal. But hopefully this is, can be Ohio State's roster. And the biggest thing is coming away with, you know, no injuries. We've seen uh, number 20. I don't, his name is slipping my mind right now. He went down with an injury. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he can, you know, get back. And hopefully it's not an injury that, that can keep him out in the regular season. We'll see. But overall, Ohio State's defense looks a lot better.